Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It has been a minute. Oh man, I know I look very basic right now. Not basic, that's not the word I was looking for. Um, <laughs> I look very eh, scary. I know, I know, I know. Um, today I'm going to be doing a wear test on the Tarte foundation they just came out with. It's a Tarte Shape Tape foundation. It looks like this. It's like a bigger version of the concealer that I have right here. Um, I know some people have been conflicted and stuff about this because of the shades. I get it. I get it. You know, they came out with sucky shades. It, hopefully they're working on it. I think they are. I believe I've watched um, two or three other beauty YouTubers that did a review on this and um, some of them liked it. Some of them hated it. Uh, I guess it just depends on your skin type. I got the matte foundation because I'm pretty oily throughout my face. Um, I do get dry right through here. I'm also having skin issues. Like, I was having it a while back and then it went away. And now just, guys, I don't even know what to do. It's, it's, it's insanely bad breakouts. And I don't, I was so upset about it yesterday that I was, like, almost crying. I'm not even kidding. Um. I don't know, I'm going to have to try something else. I don't know if one of, some of my makeup broke me out or something. I don't know. I can't. I've tried a bunch of different products lately. So, anyways, we're going to um, jump right into it and attempt and see what this is about. Um, hopefully, this is my right shade. I'm pale, so we shall see. First, I'm going to be taking my, because I want to give it a fair shot. I'm just going to put it on. I'm going to be taking the Pore Professional. And putting it on really quick. And let's just get to it. I think this is like the first video I've sat down to film in almost three weeks. Um, I've been extremely busy. Uh, with work, um, family stuff, all that jazz. Um, I'm also preparing to take a certification test for teaching, so um, give me some prayers, guys, on that. I'm excited. It's a new journey. It's a new step. Um, it's what I went to college for, actually, so that is why I'm going after it now. Um, I got discouraged a while back and kind of put it on hold, but... Um, I'm ready to do this, ready to, I'm just ready. I'm ready for a new thing in life. All right, now that we are primed, let's just go right in. Let me find my brush before, okay, it's right here. Okay, anyways, go right in. This is what it looks like. It's literally like a jumbo version of the concealer. Um, I actually really like that, that's really neat. So I'm going to grab my mirror real quick and just start putting it all over my face in stripes, just everywhere. I don't even know if um, if I'm going to need all this much. The concealer is, you know, whoa, so we'll, I look crazy in the monitor, <laughs> we'll see how this, um, how full coverage and all that is probably putting way too much on my face, but I like to be extra, so. And we are just going to look extra cute during the process of putting this on, guys. I mean. It's kind of thick. It's really thick, actually. I may have put... I put way too much. Way too much on. But... Um, let's just blend it out until... We see. Um... Not sure. 
sure how I'm feeling about this, everybody. It's, um, it's very cakey. Maybe it's just the, the primer. I don't know. I used that primer a million times, though, with, like, everything. But this is, maybe it's better to apply it with a sponge. I don't know. But right now, it's just. This is not, okay, bring it down my neck. I think I put too much on. That's, that's what, that's got to be the issue. I think I put too much on. We will see. Um, you know what I should have done is I should have done one half with a brush and one half with a, a sponge because... I may like it better with a sponge, honestly, because it is kind of thick. It does kind of take a bit to move around with a brush. Um, then again, this is a cheap dupe brush, and maybe if I had a real artiste brush or the actual um, tape shape brush that they came out with when they released this product, that maybe it will work better with those. I don't know, but um, it's it's not as full coverage as I was led to believe. Um, I got it in my hair a little. Um, I can still see all my little blemishes here on my cheek. It's not really hiding them. But, I mean, it's, no, it's like, I don't know, maybe I should have tried it. Let me see. Let me grab my sponge, maybe. That dab. Because it's kind of caking right here. I can't really see it, but it's it's not like blending out smoothly. It's just, it's caking on there. And then I'm also dry right here, so it's kind of caking in right there too, but that's my fault for not moisturizing earlier this morning. Okay, well, uh, my first opinion is if you're going to use this kind of product, please d use a beauty blender or a sponge because um, I don't really think the brush worked too well with it. I mean, it doesn't look bad now that it's blended out and I kind of went back over it a little bit with the sponge, but I can still see my little blemishes right here and here but they're not I mean it's not like it's bad it's not like you can be like oh pimple oh acne you know it's not bad but um yeah so let me go ahead and put the tape shape on not tape shape they're both tape shapes uh the concealer on which I know that I like this product already it covers up my um my dark circles I, I you know, I get a little ham with this too and use quite a bit as well, but that's okay. Get my sponge and blend away. By the way, guys, I did get a new camera. I'm not using it today obviously um i'm not sure if i like it i may interest in selling it or giving it to my sister because she does uh book vlogs on a youtube channel too and she has been wanting a video camera um it came with a microphone which was cool but the the, the image of it doesn't really it doesn't seem like it's that much of an improvement i guess um, but, I don't know, I'll try to film, like, maybe one video with it here in the near future and see how I like it. If not, I'm probably just, I don't know. I do have a camera that I use for photography. Uh, I may use that because I know that one works very well. My baby hair in the way. 
By the way, guys, my hair is like, it's growing. It's like really shaggy now. I'm so excited. Uh, it's oh, finally growing. It's getting somewhere. So, <laughs> we still got a long journey ahead with this growing out of the pixie cut. But we're slowly but surely getting there. I talk about it in every video because I'm obsessed. I'm sorry. I'm obsessed. I need it to grow. I like need it. I've been taking vitamins out the butt like, like crazy. Like, I need it to grow. I'm ready for long, luxurious waves again. I need, I need it. I need it. Okay. Um, I have my foundation and concealer and all of that jazz on. I am going to finish my makeup off, off camera and, um, Show you the final result, give you my first impressions and opinions, and then I'll check back later in in a few hours and let you know how it held up. But um, anyways, guys, I will be right back. Hey guys, I'm back. Um, this is the final look that I have. Um, my first impressions of this foundation is that it's not as full coverage as what the advertisement claimed. Um, don't, it is it is a good foundation, don't get me wrong. It does feel good on the skin. Um, or I'm not going to say it's a good foundation because I haven't worn it all day yet. I have to test it out or whatever. And maybe the hydrating one would be better for me. I don't know. But um, after watching some of the other YouTubers use it, I thought, oh, the matte one is more full coverage. The matte one is, is where it's at. Plus, I usually love all matte foundations because I do get oily throughout the day except for right here in my little T-zone area. But, um, it's not bad. I can still see, you know, obviously my little blemishes right here. Uh, maybe that's just because I need to find something for my skincare that works better. I don't know. Um, but you know, when you, when you, when you hear full coverage, you're, you're like, oh, yes, you know, hide everything. But, um, that's obviously not the case in this one. Maybe it looks more full coverage when you use it with a beauty blender um i'm gonna have to try it out a few more times to see if i actually like it but i mean it's not bad i could wear this for like an everyday kind of foundation maybe um we'll see i lost my train of thought for a second <laughs> um we'll see i will um wear it throughout the rest of the day and um I will give you my thoughts by the end of this evening. So, um, yeah. Anyways, I will catch you guys in a little bit. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. I'm back. Um, I'm checking in. So far, um, I actually, I like, I like the foundation. Um, it's, um, as you can see, like, it's kind of, I mean, you obviously could already see my, um, my blemishes a little bit underneath, but it's starting to kind of, um, you know, you can see it a little bit more so now, um, it is 12 o'clock right now, or a little after 12, something like that, um, I finished my makeup early this morning, probably around 9.30, I believe that's correct, so I've been wearing it for a few hours, and, um, I'm not really doing anything the rest of the day other than picking my son up from school. So, um, I mean, for the first several hours, it's, you know, it's been okay. Usually I can tell after like two, three hours if I'm going to like a foundation or not. Um, so the final verdict is it's a, it's, a, it's a plus for me. It's good. Um, yes, it's not as full coverage as I would hope it would be. But it's enough that it, it doesn't look bad. It looks okay on the skin. Um, I do see my pores a little bit. It's not bad. Maybe if I layer it up some more next time I wear it, I'll have to give it another try. And um, this time I use the sponge because the brush made it a little too cakey for me when I was trying to smooth it out. And um, then after I took the sponge, after I finished and um, went back with it, it kind of helped it a little more. Um... So maybe I'll try it again and just use the sponge and I'll let you guys know if I do that. Um, but anyways, yeah, I, um, 
I like it. So um, I would definitely recommend it. I might um, actually buy the hydrating one just to see the difference. Um, I have seen videos already of YouTubers doing that and um, where they do it on one half and the other on the other, or the mat on the other. <laughs> the other on the other, the mat on one side and the hydrating on one side, and, um, you know, maybe, yeah, maybe I should have done that, I don't know, but, um, yeah, so, anyways, guys, thanks for watching, please subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys next time, bye.